Hi guys, it's Jason here with another Hoppy Report. And today we are previewing the Chick fil A Kickoff Classic between the Oregon Ducks, ranked 13th in the nation, and the Georgia Bulldogs. Georgia is a 17 and a half point favorite. The game's on ABC 1230 on Saturday. Georgia coming off of a national title game. Um, win. They won a national title first time in 40 years they've done it there. Um, they beat Michigan in the semifinal. They beat Alabama in the national title game. Oregon, a little disappointed in to last season. They lost to Utah in the Pac-12 title game, which wasn't really close. Um, they lost in the Alamo Bowl to Oklahoma. That was kind of over at halftime under the Mario Cristobal leaving um, for Miami. But um, Oregon, new coach, new new coordinators, new running back coach, new position to coach. So what is Oregon going to look like? We saw in the spring game, Oregon wants to move um, pass the ball down the field. They want to take advantage. If they got numbers in the box, they'll, they'll run the ball. If the the numbers are favorite, if it's a heavy box, they'll probably pass the ball. Um, Joseph Ladder by Station Bennett, 2,800 yards, 26 touchdowns, 7 pits, a walk on. Um, one of the job from JT Daniels, JT had some issues with injuries, but Stetson Bannon come, came in and really took over the job, did a great job. Um, Georgia's number one threat passing the ball is Brock, Brock Bowers, um, 800 yards, he's a tight end. Probably the best tight end group in the nation is in Athens, Georgia. Um, with Brock Bowers, the Washington, um, Lee McKinch, Lee McConney, um, is the leading wide receiver coming back, um, and then they got a very good, very good second day. They got Keenan Rago, that's coming back from injury. They got Dan Johnson, um, Dylan Everett, Christopher Smith. Um, that's the key matchup that I want to focus on. The Oregon wide receivers that's young with Kenneth Ferguson, um, Chris Hudson, um, Dante Thornton, um, and versus the Georgia Bulldogs. Um, uh, that's going to be the matchup to watch. Obviously, when it's an SEC team and a, uh, Pac-12 team, always the trenches. Oregon has a very... Veteran offensive line can, I want to say move around to Georgia, but can they hold their own against Georgia? Keep the born age of Ty Thompson. The starting the quarterback hasn't been announced for Oregon out of Dan Learning's mouth. Um, there's been reports that um, born age is the starter, but we don't know. If I were to say, I think we see both quarterbacks. I think we see both Nitz and Ty Thompson. I, I think Bo Nitz will start the game, but you could see Ty Thompson in there for a series or two. Um, two guys that I think Oregon could win with um, moving forward. I don't have Oregon winning this game. It's really unfair for Dan Lanning in its first game to say, hey, you got to take on the national champs um, and beat, beat them. Um, what do I expect for Oregon? I think Oregon's going to play a good game. I don't think they get blown off the field. Yeah, the score may indicate a blowout, but I think at times Oregon's going to move the ball. Oregon's going to stop Georgia and whatnot. But I I have it as a seventeen to twenty point game as well too. 
um, in the judges' favor. Um, I think Oregon, if they, what does Oregon need to do to win this ball game? Oregon definitely needs to win the turnover battle. Um, need to win the red zone battle. That's going to be what's important. If they could hold Georgia to field goals in the red zone, that's going to be key for um, key for Oregon going uh, to such in this ball game. Oregon cannot give Georgia short fields. Um, and no, um, Oregon can't have um, Momentum tennis, so no pick sits, no scooping at scores, um, no plays like that that swings the momentum in the Joseph's favor. Um, I think if Oregon wins this game, I think it's going to be a close game. Joseph could either win it going away, win it in a light blowout, or win it close. Um, I don't think Oregon's going to blow out Georgia. So, pro, pro, projection time. I got Oregon losing 38-20, 38-17. Um, like I said, Oregon's going to play good. But I think Georgia is another level. Um, Oregon's not there quite yet. And I got a long ways to go. Um, but it's going to be a good game. Yeah, 38-17, you're looking about a um, three to four touchdown game. But it's going to be, I think it's going to be a close game at halftime. Once again, Oregon, Georgia, 12-30, ABC. Once again, my name's been Jason. Have a great day. And like always, go Ducks.